Hello there, Adam once again. This video is on Pseudotrophia solosi. It's a Imbuna and it's found at only one location, a very isolated reef called Taiwani Reef in Lake Malawi. Uh, its current state is incredibly endangered and this is all due to over collecting for the aquarium hobby itself, which is really unfortunate. Uh, there are currently some breeding projects going on on the shores of Lake Malawi in order to introduce juveniles back at Taiwani Reef. Um, as of right now, the uh, state of this fish is pretty poor. Finding quality solosi is no easy task. I know of at least one of the larger vendors here in the United States that is no longer even bringing them in and offering them because of the poor quality, uh, you get some really washed out and mucked up looking females and males that have far too much barring on them. I've had quite a few of these over time. Um, the male in this video that's doing the spawning is definitely the best one that I've had. Uh, he had perfect barring and the females are a nice solid gold orange, uh, typical of the species. Uh, females will occasionally get some faint barring or a little darkness to uh, their finnage but that's usually uh, when they are kind of stressed out or I used to have one that showed really strong bars especially when she was holding. Um, subdominant males will try to take on some yellow coloration um, to try and hide from the most dominant male uh, in the tank. Um, this is definitely a very prolific fish. Uh, you don't have to do much. They will spawn and continue to spawn over and over and over. Um, I'd say that I did have several broods that were well over 20 fry, but I'd say more typical would be like a dozen, maybe 15, 16, 17. Uh, they are considered a dwarf and buna. Um, you can't keep them in smaller, smaller tanks. Um, I had them all over the place, but uh, I did keep them as a species only and just a standard 40 breeder, three feet long by 18 inches deep. And it seemed to work out all right. I was only able to really get one colored up male, fully colored male in that tank, um, which was fine with me. Uh, they do tend to be pretty male heavy um, on their spawn. So if you are going to start with these, I would suggest getting no less than eight of them Preferably 10 or more. A dozen would be a good way to start. That way you, you got a pretty good shot at several females. Um, they are a bit feisty, uh, just like any Mbuna, but they're not so bad as uh, some of the more aggressive species. So I would say some people have kept them successfully in something like a 29 gallon, but I think a 40 breeder is probably the minimum I would go if I were to try them again. Um, I did sell off this group um, and now I'm kind of kicking myself after uh, putting this video together I do have about 15 or so fry left so who knows maybe I'll save them um, we'll see but uh, without further ado here it is there's video uh, once again this has kind of got some glare in it uh, it was happening during the day there's nothing I could do about it um, I don't think there's any eggs actually dropped in this video, but um, you get the, the gist of it. Uh, anyways, thanks uh, for watching and hope you enjoy.